you can use to sort of just add to your um, add to your playing, add to your style, just to kind of like just spice things up a little bit. Um, so, okay, the first one we're going to look at today is um, Ghost Notes. It's a really cool thing. Uh, we looked at uh, left and right hand muting in a previous video. But uh, what we're doing with Ghost Notes is adding in all of these non notes. Right? So, what you do there is effectively you fret a note, but you don't quite press down, and then you just pick it up like that. So, And yet again, have a bit of practice till you get the actual sound like uh, dead on. So it's not too difficult, you know, just imagine you're about to fret a note. Because you'll be using this in conjunction with, you know, <laughs> proper fret notes, it's good to just get into that thing of sort of just lifting off with your left hand. I'll just move my other fingers so you can see better. Just sort of and using the alternate picking we, uh, we looked at earlier. Just use the on the one or the index finger the fret note and use the ghost note on the second or the, the middle finger yeah just play around with that for a bit the ghost note's a great way to add in to like sort of funk or soul sort of playing like Just do another quick one. 
to keep that pickup clear. You don't want to have your hand too close to it. You just want to get a nice clean muted note. Cool. Right. So we're going to have a quick look at raking. This is a really cool one. It's made quite prominent by um, James Jameson and Maytown using <laughs> the, uh, the hook. And where you know you just use one finger for most of the lines. Unreal. You know, it's a water player, but um, the technique is to just literally rake or drag your finger down the strings. And you want to play this because you don't want to be, um, you don't want your finger to be too against. It should be able to just almost slide down them, like you're running your finger across them. And what you get with this is just a really cool sort of um, skippy rhythmic um, pattern. So you can use this for, for example, on you know down a couple of strings like. You can use it uh, just down one string, which gives you a really cool sort of um, uh, a little sort of shuffly sort of groove. And that's just literally using the, the bottom string and then just cutting onto this one. So. Please like, share and subscribe for more bass videos. Nice one.